Most people in America are not accustomed to foul language is 100% false. Most of America knows what propriety is, and that is probably true. What I mean is they may not know what the word means specifically, but they do know what is and isn't typically considered professional conduct. If I get passionate about the things I'm speaking about and I utter a four-letter word or two, or the classic black culture community motherfucker that we learn from people like Richard Pryor and other comedians like Chris Rock and other people that you may know too, I have to say to you, it's my right to be passionate about my personhood, my paperwork, and my property. It's my right to be outraged at these people that are not a part of my family of choice, not a part of my fellowship groups, not a part of my colleague network, work that are abusing my rights right before you. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what God speaks through our soul. And as we talk, we share information. As we squawk, people pay attention. But as you lie about your rights over me or anyone else, you mutilate your relationships. And my, my blessings to you don't go very far because the curses you've brought upon your life is that you've chosen against God's plan for your life. If you're playing small in your life, that's on you. If you're stealing from my life, that is completely on you before the Lord that you worship, which is you. You see, when you worship you, you harm people. When you worship you, you abuse people. When you worship you, you lie about people. When you worship you, you take things from people. When you worship you, you steal property from a storage unit. And when you worship you, you lie completely about your rights to be involved in someone's privacy rights, their medical rights, their telecom rights, their technology rights, their legal rights, their financial rights, and that's on you.